Greg, really appreciate you talking to us. What, what a win. What's your assessment of it? Yeah, quality. You know, these are the games that are going to be massive for us during the season and it's really important when things are tight, mm. you know, to make sure we get the goal and hang on to the clean sheet and we, we achieved that today. So, yeah, buzzing. Talk us through how the game played out. Obviously, early pressure from the host, but once you lads got the ball down and it looked like you really grew into it. Yeah, massively. You know, I think when you come to teams like this, you always know that the ball's coming in your box from pretty much the first minute and that's how it was today. In the first half showed that they were prepared to put it in from anywhere and sort of any any point in the pitch. So it's mm -hmm. important that we, we dealt with that. You know, it's important that we get first contact and stay compact, stay tight and don't allow any shots in the box or things to drop uh, for the opposition. So it's important you stay concentrated from minute one, really. Yeah. How are you feeling at half time? I think... Uh, there's a feeling that we could do a lot better you know, yeah. throughout the team. I know for me and myself personally that there's things I, I could have done a lot better and I think that we grew into the game in the second half and there's definitely a lot of people thinking, OK, we, you know, we got through the first half, didn't concede, which is massive in, in, in times when you're under a lot of pressure. Yeah. But uh, I think not to concede is, is massive and then going into the second half, it's like, right, now we can do a bit more, now we can be a bit more like the way we want to play and pose our style on the game. And, yeah. and I think we did that a lot more second half and then after the goal, it's important that you stay solid and uh, again, you know, something, something that we came together as a team and, and did that. What was it that made you think that that was the case, you know, that you came out second half and asserted that, that control? Was it, you know, an extra spark to you? I think just more like when you haven't played your own game from the off, it's, it's that disappointment and that, no, actually, like that personality to say, OK, yeah. come on, it's that time now that we play our game. You know, we've come here, we perhaps haven't started how we wanted, but you got to dig deep and go, OK, now it's time to try and play. What we want to play, stand up to, to people who are just going to go physical, because at the end of the day, we know our team's going to be fitter, we know that we're going we're gonna to see that out and we're going to try and play some football at the same time. Um, and, and yeah, knowing that belief in the team, knowing that belief in ourselves to do that and eventually knowing that we, we're going to get a chance. What was your view of the goal? Yeah, it's quality. <laughs> Honestly, Mark is on fire at the moment. Um, yeah, and you know it's you know it's a good uh, finish when the keeper stays rooted. Yeah. So uh, yeah, buzzing, just happy to get it, and I think that it was it was coming for us. I think mm -hmm. that you know we've got quality players up top. You know we've got quality players who are going to get one chance and a goal, and these are the games that are going to be really important. You know, one nil away from home, yeah. uh, it could could be the difference for the season. And I think that these are the games you really want to impose your style, but also get, get one goal and, and hang on to the win, and then yeah. take the three points and, and concentrate on Saturday. Two clean sheets in a row as well. Is that something that can really give you guys such momentum and confidence? Yeah, massive. You know, I think that the clean sheet isn't just down to the defenders. It's mm. down to everybody uh, from, from the front to the mid to the back. And I think that as a team, it really gives you a togetherness when you're looking at that score going, OK, like, that's, that's no goals on Saturday, that's no goals on Tuesday. And you want to just carry that on as, as long as you can. How did you find uh, it on a personal front, Craig? Obviously back in the team and, uh, and in from the off. And uh, how did you play the conditions as well? Yeah, you know, first uh, spot of rain we've had this, <laughs> this season. Yeah. Uh, I think me on a personal note, I was obviously delighted to get the opportunity. Mm. You know, it's something that I've sort of been waiting for. I think that it's definitely a game that sort of stu suited my style. You know, yeah. it's something that coming into the team, I wanted to uh, impose my prowess to try and be a bit more physical. Mm. Perhaps it's a bit rusty on little things of uh, just timing the headers and things like that, which mm. I think that I can definitely improve on, but I know I've got that in the locker. It's just a frustrating one, but definitely something I can improve on. I know going forward that'll be a little bit tighter. But no, it's was, it was really, uh, really excited to get the opportunity. And obviously, the three points for the team was massive. You know, they did everything they could to, to take that away from us. But I think mm. a togetherness for the team really brought home the, uh, the three points, and that was massive for myself and obviously for, for everyone here. Yeah. And finally, a word on the away end. You know, they were. Yeah. In full voice, especially second half, weren't they? And, and, and what did that do for you, lads? Oh, quality, you know, absolutely quality. I think that when they're that loud, you know, louder than the home support, mm. gives you a real boost and they're really wheeling the ball to go in the back of the net. And uh, yeah, if, if anything, they sucked it in, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, quality stuff.